Toby Hodges from Yachting World on board. A yacht I'm really excited to bring you on board, the new Swan 58. And we're taking it out for sale from Port Genesta or Barcelona as part of the European Yacht of the Year competitions. This should be fun. So unsurprisingly, really nicely set up for the helms person to enjoy the sailing and to be able to trim the sheets without moving from this area. To point out a couple of features I really like here at the helm setup. So nothing out of the ordinary in terms of having the pedestals and controls all on them here, but really, as I say, really nice leads. And I really personally like having the main sheet. You can have a captive main sheet, but having it on a plinth like this between the helms gives you a bit of bracing position and just really easy to let off the sheet. Um, to centralise it. Powered winches on all of these, but this also has on the port side um, power bunches for the, for the furlers as well. So you can lose your head sails really easily. And one other thing here is, look how neatly the car pullers have been integrated below the cockpit itself, below, below the coach roof combings. Very, very clean. Just adjusting the car sheet there. Furling away the head sail. See the long bowsprit here with the integral anchor roller, plumb stem, recessed furler, and then you drop back here to the anchor locker, which sits below, the actual chain locker sits below double gas locker there with the windlass set further aft and the deck wash system to plug in here so you can wash your anchor chain. And this boat has Harken CLR windlass and that means you push one of these buttons and it revolves up out of the deck to use as a windlass for mooring. Yeah, moving into the sail locker, proper sail locker here, full standing headroom. There you see the bucket for the chain, the anchor locker, so that goes right forward there and comes back to the aft water type bulkhead that separates it from the accommodation space but you can see so much room for sails and warps and fenders etc and toys in here essential really for any long distance cruising you'll also note how neat they've integrated the sheets running rigging and furling lines on the boat to keep a very very clear clean deck area you know a tracks mounted right inboard here so you have a really clear wide side deck area to move aft on and then the lines all brought right aft here look at again look how neatly they've been integrated as well the furling lines and the sheets running under the coach roof area to these two powered winches aft so easy enough for a couple to manage the boat using the powered winches from the helm area they were designed quite clever because they move fore and aft pull that aft so you can have walk around access here and they also lower and join as well so the whole cockpit area can be filled in with these tables and also allows for plenty of space for people to sit around to eat low combings each side and a recessed spray hood which comes up out of there as well and the life rough locker central there
so this is the velvet vibe interior there are three different styles basically designed by Misa Poggi uh, and this one uses this combination well walnut trim with gloss in areas as well uh, and on the soles there uh, and a light oak on the bulkheads and then you choose your different um, upholstery colors this one obviously in red and uses red leather on the cabin bulkheads classic stylish elegant finish but you can see in fact you can see here look um, the three different moods so this one the velvet vi vibe with American walnut a Scandi version which uses dark oak or white oak or a swan sole with natural oak to create three different moods with loads of different options for your, your upholsteries, fabrics, leathers. Now the concept of this 58 is for a blue water performance yacht that could be handled by a couple. So it's a three cabin layout with forward owner's cabin with the option for a fourth cabin here and if you do that it's quite a clever arrangement on the starboard side so you can have it as is here or with a more conventional forward facing chart table or if you have this use this area as a fourth cabin you can have a chart table on the forward end of this long sofa berth and then coming back to the owner operated management side of it you know it's been methodically laid out to be easy to manage an example of that is having all of the electronics here on this forward bulkhead so there are all your switches switch panel there to access and then the parts you don't need to so much the fuse panel parts all underneath though but all in one area easy to get at and to troubleshoot and the same again with the you know, computer side of it so you open up here and behind that fabric panel in the wardrobe are the main computer electronics in there and this is your standard forward cabin it can the only really option in here is to have this as a split with berths two berths one each side but really using the volume in the in the forward sections there and there's a generous heads in here as well with proper size walk-in shower it's really <laughs> very very nicely designed and finished I mean it's a swan what do you expect surround stowage space wherever you look in the cabins in the saloon these really good size opening lockers here ventilated and plenty of natural light as well the size of these hull windows another thing that helps buy that stowage is having the tanks all centrally mounted keeps weight central so the fuel tanks there's three fuel tanks and three water tanks built in under the saloon soles and you can switch that so if you would for example if you had a water maker and you wanted to um, have extra fuel tank you don't need so much water tank as you can switch one and make uh, and give yourself something like 1400 liters I think it is of, uh, of fuel Yeah, there we go. Basically, a thousand liters each, but you can use one of the tanks and swap them over for extra water or fuel to stowage. So again, you see all the raised stowage running throughout here with the ventilation panels above, all below this saloon seating. More stowage, clean drawer below the stool, and large amount of drawers below this long sofa. 
table itself is quite a clever configuration because you have the director's chairs here to add to it. Um, but in this format, it allows you to get in. It moves inboard to allow you to get around the table and then the whole thing will lift up to double the size of it. So, I mean, you could, you know, theoretically sit a good 10 people around this table or more likely you're going to do it in the saloon in the cockpit area where you have the clever twin tables which allow for huge amount of seating and reclining area still a proper chart table and a good sort of bookshelf area to next to it as well and lots of inboard stowage here wonderful amount of natural light and a good sized galley I mean, this is a clever stowage solution you have here you see you keep all your tableware in these soft closing drawers here and use it a movable tray to get the goods around but still get a good c-shape galley area itself fridge space in the drop down and forward opening fridge uh, with options for more and easy to brace yourself on either tack. And then this this yacht has uh, shows basically both the options you can have in the aft cabin. So both of these have separate sort of day heads access as in a secondary door into their heads compartment. And this one has the large double so this can be you see the twin option on the other side or a twin that converts into a double double you get this extra bit of stowage space inboard they both have these huge wardrobes outboard a big hull window and then the other thing to point out is these access panels into the engine room itself so I'll show you the engine room but Normally it would, this would just be a little one, but you can see how these completely remove here to get access to after the end of the gen of the engine and all the generator as area as well. So pretty much complete access there, including those little panels as well. So again, two doors onto this one doesn't have to be, uh, and this one has the twin berth setup with the red leather bulkhead aft very nicely done so conventional engine room beneath the companionway steps. Yeah. The gen set itself is raised and offset so when you can get it fully get a one side and also uh, with those panels that remove you get that sort of complete surround access to it apart from the aft end. Surround's the wrong word. Complete side access and to the engine room itself which is really well insulated. And then below the forward step of the companionway, access to the water strainers and the two water pumps. All insulated still, like the engine room itself. And then slightly further forward of the water strainers are your fuel filters. And you can easily switch one over if one gets blocked. And also notice here how the saloon sole is all mounted on this aluminium grid as well with the wiring conduits and plumbing kept right out of the bilges as well nicely done have a good look over this boat and then you start to understand why 20 people have already ordered one pretty impressive for a yacht that starts at 1.98 million euros <laughs>